YouTube family. Thank you all guys for your continued support. Guys, I have been missing for a few weeks, I know, but I have been busy. And now that I'm back to work, I hardly have time. But guys, I'm, I promise that I will continue to make my videos at least one video per week. I'm still getting subscribers. I see where I'm still getting comments. I'm still, I'm still getting support. And I thank you and I appreciate you all. Now to get today, guys, I'm just gonna do a little short video. Um, now there are some fruits that are here in Trinidad and Tobago that are the, they are the same fruits in Jamaica, but they have different names here. And when I come here, then I kind of have to adjust myself to know the names. Like, like if I go into the market and I want to ask for a certain product, then I'll have to know the name to tell them um, what I'm really looking for. Or if I see, then I will see and they will say, that is the name of it. And then I'll tell them my name. And sometimes they are just fascinated to hear the name that I have, that I know the fruits and the vegetables uh, as, and I am also fascinated by the same um so today i'm just gonna be showing you just a few of those stuff that is here in trinidad that have a different name in jamaica and some of the foods that they eat as well that we don't really eat um for example dasheen bush when i came here and i hear they talk about kalulu i was asking i said do you have kalulu they say yes and then when i realize what they call kalulu is different from what i call kalulu so for them dasheen the leaves of the dasheen is what they call kalulu here or they will call it dasheen bush or some will say kalulu and they cut it up and they cook it just the same um like how we cook kalalu in jamaica but then they have a thing that they used to crush it and make it very soft <laughs> so when i came here and i saw the food like i was saying no i'm not gonna eat that but after tasting it i was sharing it to one of my um supporters that commented about the different food that i when i tasted the kalalu um what they dashing bush color low. um it tasted good because they put coconut milk a lot of stuff in it so it really tastes good but looking at it from my perspective when i just saw it i didn't want to eat it just like how i didn't want to eat doubles um yeah and as i said as i shared i think i shared my previous videos that when i first saw i don't remember but i'm gonna share it now when i first saw doubles people eating on the road it was a culture shock for me because i've never seen it i've never done it in my country i've never seen it um and i was asking what were they eating and they were saying um doubles um looking at what they put in it i didn't want to eat it because i said that looking like baby poo but i was here for like three to four years before i tasted doubles i said one day i said i was at work and one of my co-workers bought it and she said taste it taste it it's really good and i taste it and it was good um i really don't like a lot of flour to eat because i tend to gain a lot of weight when i eat flour but I from time to time, yeah, man. I buy up doubles. My husband buy a double, buy doubles religiously on Saturday morning or Sunday morning. If he's home on Sunday morning, that is his breakfast. He's gonna go up the road, and he's gonna buy his doubles. And my daughter love it as well. My son don't like it. He like the pie, potato pie. He like the pie. That's what they call it. Um, he like that, so I'll buy that for him. Um. So yeah, there are a lot of foods here that, you know, you know, you go, you go in different countries, you gotta get adjusted to their way of eating, their food. And sometimes it's just, you just have to be open. I remember we went on a trip. My children were at school and they went on a school trip. And when they were, uh, they were going to the zoo and they stopped somewhere near to Port of Spain. I don't remember the plane on Facebook because that was the first time I was really going there. Um, anybody in the comments can comment and tell me exactly where that place is. I don't remember, but I know that it was a deep corner 
and then you go around the corner you go like on top of a hill and then and that that hill you could overlook i think the city of port of spain and there were a lot of people selling different stuff um chow and all kind of things so um that was the first time i saw pylori that's something that is called pylori um to us jamaicans it would look like fried dumpling but it 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 has a more sexier shape it round it would be like a tambourine ball it is round perfectly round now i when one of the teachers she went and she said she was gonna buy it so she went and she bought it and she asked me for so i said what is that fried dumpling they laughed me to scan they was like no this is pylori and they had it in a bag and they they in the sauce so they gave it to me so then i was asking them for the fork i was saying so you don't have a fork they laugh me the whole bus catch a fire they laugh they said no you don't eat that with a fork you're just gonna take your hand you're gonna take out the pylori dip it in the sauce and you're gonna eat it and that is how you enjoy it and yeah i tried it and it was nice and my daughter my daughter tried it and she said yes she was much younger and she said mommy it tastes good so there are a lot of stuff um the i saw at that it's like a border like and then they were they had um pineapple with pepper on it and stuff like that which i never really saw in jamaica yes i think some persons do it in jamaica make a chow with the thing but it's not a regular thing that you see on the road every day it's not a regular everyday thing that you see people would be selling so for me i think trinidadians are very what did i say no they are creative when it comes to fruits and vegetables and stuff like that so you know yeah i've learned a lot so today i'm just gonna share a few things that i do i went to um from time to time i go to the market like on a saturday morning i'll go if i'm not if i'm not going to church or sometimes I go on a Sunday morning based on how I work or if I'm home. Then I'll go. I like to go to the market and get my fish and my vegetables and my seasoning and stuff like that. One of the things I always try to get when it's in season. I think it's in season all around here because I've always seen it is um, June plum. Which they call Plum City here in Trinidad and Tobago. And... I've seen the tree in a lot of homes and some people really don't know that it can make juice. So from time to time, when I go in the market and I meet whoever I'm buying it from, I will tell them to sell me because I want to make some juice. They will say the ripe one. I say, no, I want the green one to blend it with some ginger and put a little spice in it and a little lemon juice and make some juice. And they were like, oh, I didn't know they could make some juice. I know they use it to make chow as well so i'm just gonna share a little clip of me going to the market getting a few stuff and just i'm gonna share a cer certain things with you that they do eat here um that you know it's a little bit different from what, how we eat um another thing about the dashing bush i was saying when i came here and i saw people were eating it i was saying oh i jamaicans don't eat it but then i remember when i was a child a very young child my grandparents used to be farmers so i remember that they when they were having workmen in the field i remember my grandmother whenever she's cooking soup because there's sometimes she'll cook a beef soup for the men that work like if they work on a friday or on a saturday they rarely work on a saturday but it's mostly on a friday she would make soup and then when i would see she would do is after peeling the dashing and putting it in the soup she would cut a few of the leaves like dice it fine like how you would cook the color and she would put it in the soup as well and stir it up in the pot that is what i remember about dashing bush but dashing bush like on a whole to just cook it and eat it regularly we jamaicans don't do that for the color loo that we know they call it a different name here and it's called badge here and um yeah since i come here i try to get some to cook but then i realize it's just of a different texture here than you know back home so i really don't bother buying it i rather to buy cabbage and stuff like that so so guys i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna share with you some of this stuff i hope you enjoy the video please continue to support me please continue to subscribe 
please continue to comment if there's anything in the video that you want to comment about that you want to just add your comments to or add your views to no problem let us just keep everything respectfully and in a loving manner um i got a comment the other day about somebody who said oh i bad mind trinidadian i don't like trinidadian and nothing like that guys this is my experience that i have here and i just have to share my experience with you it's not another person's experience it's not just like how you would come to my country and there's stuff that they are good and bad because as i've said i've met a lot of great trinidadians and i've met some that are not so great that are really 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 give trinidadian bad name and make trinidadian look bad but you know i just have to share my views and i am not upset about any views it's your opinion but if you're disrespectful i'm just gonna delete your comment or you know but yeah let us just be respectful of one caribbean or one people thank you guys just watch and enjoy the video okay oh yes guys so this is sunday morning market in red island tobago in the morning market it's one of the biggest markets here so the market is being refurbished at the moment so the guys the buses are selling around this side up the road basically until the market is refurbished i'm gonna get some fish You have red fish this morning? Orange one. <laughs> Orange? That's how what? Rock and No, sir. 16 apples. Ah, I'm not like that one there. I'm not like that one there, eh? Yeah, I like it. Now, you, know, you have salmon? Yeah, salmon. Uh, give me a salmon. Yeah, give me the bigger one. One more curry. Yeah. Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah. Good <laughs> morning. Well, then at the boiling sun. Oh, my uh, God, man. Boiling sun. Sun hot. Oh, my God. Wow, wow, wow. Beta. I'm going to go and stay in that shade, Tilo. Get a broad hat, man. I'll get one, the umbrella thing put right there. This guy is so hot. It's very hot here. Oh, them have to be out. You know, everybody has to do their hustling. The market is being refurbished. That's the market there on the orange and cream. So they have to be on the outside today. Yeah, yeah, slice it up. I'm gonna buy some fish. Normally buy red fish, which we call snapper in Jamaica, but they call it red fish here, so you can. So don't get any red fish this morning. I'm gonna buy salmon this morning. Salmon tastes good as well. Since I come here, I really learn of that. So, you know, we have snapper and all kind of different names of Jamaica. Them fish are different. <coughs> some of them are different names to me. I don't know.
called it pig here, they call it pig. Well, we call it pig too, but they call it pig. Only buy a banana, $4 per pound, they put it by the pound here, by the hand. So guys, this is Pump City, what they call it, Pump City in Trinidad, we call it June Plum, they don't know that you can make juice, I always tell them when I go to buy, so, yep, Pump City, June Plum, we call that in Jamaica, they use it to make chow though, I know they use it to make chow and you know, put pepper and salt and stuff on it, yep. Give me two red ones, two red ones. This is what they call fig, banana fig. This is cocoa, they call it this cedars here in Trinidad. We call it this is callaloo, they call it spinach here. This kellyan, they call it chive. This is something called bodhi, they use it for breakfast mostly. It's a type of pepper, this is called pimento. This is karaili, this is, uh, this is what we call guinea, they call it chinep here. Uh, guys, here's the dashing bush again. This, this here, here is, is tarpa, called which are called sapodella here. This guy we all know this as cane. Yes, they call it cane here, but they don't say e cane, they say suck cane. Forgive me if my mind is dirty, guys, but when I hear them, I say stop it. I said, no, don't say that. Say e cane. They said, no. They said, no, we just suck cane. So, yeah, they say suck cane. Guys, yeah, this, this is, is one of the best food. tasting they call curry it here. Eel. Yes, me used to the Jamaican curry, and yes, it took some adjusting, but when I tried it, it tasted really good. It didn't, it don't give it that bright color. It don't give that bright color that we're used to, but it's tasting good. Try it, guys. Whenever you visit or wherever you see it, you can buy this. It's delicious. Yes, guys, so there you have it. I've shared some of the stuff that I've learned about the fruits and the vegetables here, and yes. As I said, a lot of them have a different name. A lot of them have, but it's the same thing. Just delicious, different culture. There are a lot more guys, but I, as time go along, I will share. Another thing is that I was surprised to see guys was jackfruit. I saw jackfruit here, I think twice on my way to work. I saw jackfruit, somebody selling jackfruit. And I said to myself, that must be a Jamaican that is selling that that have the tree or something but actually jackfruit is actually here no akis here yes oh yes i think my husband went to work on on some property he said some government um property and he said that aki tree was there actually there yes i just remember he said an aki tree but aki aki for aki to be here widespread no they don't know aki i think majority Trinidadian do not know what Aki is. Um, guys, I'm going to get Aki whenever I visit Jamaica or if my son is coming, I can take Aki and I can cook it and show who are not Jamaicans how we eat Aki and what is Aki. When I tell some of them about Aki, they really don't know what Aki is. So Aki here, no, you won't get Aki here to buy. Tough crackers, no, you won't get tough crackers here to buy unless somebody come from Jamaica and selling it bulla no they don't know bulla um you won't get bulla here to buy unless you have a link from a jamaican that can sell you bulla but they don't know that they have sweet bread something that is similar to bun they don't know bun either our um bun that we know in the bakery they don't know it either so then you'll have to take that here so a lot of stuff yes i got tasty cheese in the grocery here but the cheese that is used here is a different type of cheese. So there are a lot of stuff, guys, that I can show you as time goes by. But I don't want to make the video too long and boring and drawn out. For you to say the video boring. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Thanks for your support. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. One love from Trinidad, the Jamaican gal. Say, peace out. One love. So the, today guys um uh, thank you for watching the video again i hope you enjoyed now at the end of the video i'm just gonna share something i'm just gonna leave a message a point whatever you want to call it with you today no guys i've seen it over the years and i just want to reiterate and just want to tell us guys adults aunties uncles cousins older cousins 
caregivers, parents, mother, father, whoever you are. If you are in charge of a child, if a child is put in your care, be careful of how you treat that child. Be careful of how you treat that child. Make sure you treat that child the way how you would want somebody to treat you. With love, with respect, with care. Just give it your all. Because as the end of the end of the ad, sorry, at the end of the day, guys. When these kids are grown and become adults, they will never, never, never forget how you treated them. I mean, some people will treat children a certain way and they will say, oh, oh, they are three-year-old or they are two-year-old. All oh, them not understand and they don't know what to do to them. Yes, guys, they know exactly what is being done to them. They know exactly just that they don't have a voice at that age and to speak out and to say, okay, this person, this person is doing that to me. Treat your children that is in your care well because at the end of the day most of the times when you grow older those are the same kids that will have to come and see about you look after you take care of you take care of your finances feed you take care of you we don't know what life will bring so let us care let us take care of these kids with our all with love with patience with kindness because at the end of the day, when you get older, you're going to say, oh, a lot of persons, when they get older, they're going to say, oh, I raised so many children. I took care of so many children and none came back to look after me. Yes, you cared, but how did you care? Please be careful how we treat children. And another point is the way we treat children, sometimes it spills over in the society. This is what a lot of things, a lot of hurt these children are children are caring that they become violent they become um murderers they become thieves they become white color whatever thief whatever they are they become that because of how they are treated and within them nobody loves them nobody care for them they don't care for themselves they don't care for anything so this gonna they're just gonna come up to become an adult and live anyhow do anything try to hurt other people and that contributes to a lot of crime, a lot of violence in our society. Let us be careful how we treat children. Let us not sit there and say, oh, they don't understand. Yes, they do understand. They do understand. They will remember. I remember stuff from as long as I was two years old. They will remember. Let us treat children well. They are the future when we are long gone dead and gone they are the one that gonna take over let us treat children well so we can have a better society a better world a better community have a great time guys have a great one love you all